So if you guys can't already tell, we are back at it in the Nissan Altima. But basically what I wanted to do for today's video is just document and do a little bit of research because the question always comes up on my channel um, and that question is, can you put regular gas inside of a VQ35? Now I've done a video on the subject um, in the past just given my opinion on whether or not you should put regular gas uh, in a V6, Nissan, uh, Maxima, Altima, G35. This motor's in quite a few vehicles. And um, in a nutshell, I would definitely not recommend it. Now, in order to get the most power, uh, the most longevity out of these motors, um, you really do need to put premium in it. Now, if you guys remember, I had a G35 sedan a couple winters ago, not last winter, but the winter before. Uh, was automatic, just kind of my winter beater. And I always put regular in that thing. Now, I'm not exactly sure if I made a video on me putting regular in that, in that car. Um, but nonetheless, it always had regular in it. And the main thing that I did notice with that was a power decrease. Now, it was a pretty beat up car to begin with. It was automatic, so uh, that could have had something to do with it. But it was just really sluggish when putting regular gas in it. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm back driving the Altima. I was driving the Civic uh, for it's been about a month or two since I've been driving the Civic, uh, but yesterday on my way home, I had uh, realized that I had a seized uh, front caliper on the driver's side. Um, so that prompted me to park the Civic um, until I can get some time off of work to fix it. And uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna be driving the Altima. Now, now the main reason why I ended up switching to the Civic from the Altima um, is just because the price of gas is getting like hella expensive. And as recommended by the manufacturer, um, I've been putting premium in this thing ever since I bought it. Uh, just because I did want the most performance out of it. I do like to drive this car relatively hard when I'm driving on the street. Um, so premium has just kind of been a no-brainer. Uh, but now this car is getting a little bit older. It's got about 315,000 kilometers on it right now. Timing chain is starting to sound like a bag of marbles every time I start it. So it's only a matter of time before this car starts starts giving me some problems and to be quite honest I'm still a huge fan of Altima's I love the SERs I love the body kit that I have on this car um, but just the color the fact that it's a manual I was kind of starting to get used to driving an automatic into work every single day um, so long story short I'm gonna be switching to regular gasoline in this car uh, I'm gonna probably not be driving it as hard as I normally would with the premium uh, but but nonetheless, we're probably still gonna be getting on it. If I encounter some other cars while I'm out in my daily routine, you know, there's a good chance that we might uh, we might be pushing this car a little harder with the regular gas than I probably would like to. Um, but nonetheless, in today's video, we're gonna be putting regular in this thing. I'm gonna be driving the car for, I don't know, probably a full tank, uh, maybe a week or so. And I'm gonna give you guys my opinion on what I think the issues are. And then I'm gonna be going over again whether or not I'm gonna continue using regular on this thing and if I would recommend uh, you guys use regular on your vehicles. Uh, so nonetheless, I'm just about at the gas station right now. I'm gonna quit hammering on and uh, we're gonna fill this bad boy up with some regular and see how she drives, man. So I'm pretty interested to see how this thing goes. Uh, I'm hoping that I'm not gonna regret my decision, but I guess we're gonna find out together, man. So I'm gonna get back to you guys once I pull up to this gas station. Alrighty. There it is, 87. Going into the Altima. So it's 129 per liter. Um, so yeah. We are putting a lot of faith in that knock sensor, but uh, 
We're gonna see what happens here, man. Car's looking real crusty on that winter setup. Yesterday I only had time to put the front wheels on, so still gotta throw the rear on there. Alrighty, so there you have it. Full tank of fuel. Um, so I guess what I'm gonna do now is just drive this thing for the next week or so. Uh, usually I will be able to get 600 kilometers to a tank of premium. Uh, so I'm gonna see if the power goes down. I'm gonna see if the gas mileage goes down. Now I'm definitely expecting a drop in power. Uh, I'm not really sure about the fuel mileage. It was about, I'd say almost 20 bucks cheaper to fill up with regular than it would be with premium. Uh, so that's a pretty considerable savings, uh, especially for this car, which like I say, is getting pretty old. And uh, I, I just don't think this car really deserves premium. I'm not, I'm not pushing it that hard. Uh, but enough with the chit chat. I guess I'm gonna get back to you guys in a couple of days. And we're gonna see how I'm feeling about my decision to uh, put regular. Okay, tank number two or regular. About 33. All right. Tank number three at 87 going in. I think this is tank number four. Four now? I don't know, I have to go back and watch the videos. Alrighty. 87. And she goes. Alrighty, so it's been about three weeks since I started uh, recording this video of me, uh, you know, starting to fill my car with. Uh, 87 octane and so far there's really nothing major to report now I don't know if it's because I, I you know I went from driving the Civic every single day and now I'm back in the Altima which obviously has a load more power um, but I'm I'm not noticing a huge lack of power like it's still <laughs> It still pulls extremely hard in the top end. Um, now, how long it's gonna continue to do that for on 87 octane, I guess it is gonna be, um, I guess that's what the, the, the ultimate test is gonna be. But I mean, I, I was running the numbers and I'm, I'm technically running 87 in this car spending as much as I was driving the Honda Civic and obviously this this car is a shit ton more fun uh, than the Civic is if the Civic was manual it might be a different story but it's automatic and it's just it's a cruising car it's not meant for racing and sometimes when you want to go fast uh, that always isn't the greatest thing uh, so I guess we're gonna put an end to this video for now I am going to be doing an update um, now the timing chain on this car has always been an issue uh, I think with the with the with the low octane fuel is more so going to be like be catalytic convert converter failure uh, I think that's going to be the problem but uh, I'm gonna get, continue running it um, now this car is getting old it is my daily driver so I'm not beating it as much as I was when I first got it um, being a little more gentle on it I guess but um, you know the car's getting up there in age so it just doesn't make sense to put premium fuel in this thing anymore especially with the way the gas prices are passing a gas station now it's 141 uh, per liter this is in Canada um, we're either all gonna look back on this video five years from now and say wow that was extremely cheap or we're all gonna look back and laugh and hopefully say that was ridiculously expensive um, but either way I'm thinking we're probably gonna put an end to this one so if you guys did enjoy this one don't forget to smash that like button if you guys want to see more uh, VQ content I guess VQ slash Tundra content uh, hit the subscribe button because there's a lot coming in the near future um, we got a little bit of snow out here in the last couple of weeks but it's been a really mild winter here uh, in southern Canada so far so I really haven't been able to put the uh, the plow 
uh, to a really good test but uh, I assure you that next time we get a huge snowfall I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be off obviously documenting my snow uh, plowing experience with the G and then sharing it with you guys so um, but yeah as always I'm your boy Dinali Gate on squad and I'll say thank you guys for watching we're gonna catch y'all mofos at the